Yep, as you see, I have the red light back. So the red light edition is back on. So that's a plus. But before I start tonight, I would like to give a shout out to everybody who attended the live stream. And for all of you who didn't, you don't know what you missed. Like, ask everybody that was at the live stream. What you see posted on the channel, that's only half of it. That's the uh, the Q&A part. But ask everybody who actually attended the live stream how good it was. I mean, everybody enjoyed it. I mean, it was the best one yet. I mean, I exposed everything about the human prison bar system. So if you missed it, hey, that's your loss. I mean, I warned you. I left the video up. I told everybody the day it was going to be. So next time, just make sure you're at the live stream. But tonight, I wanted to talk about something, man. And I don't know if I've touched on this before, but I'm going to say it. This is a very, very cold world that we're living in. It's like the season temperament of this world is always winter because it's a very cold world. And you don't realize how cold this world is unless you are a man. It takes a man to understand this because as a man, you understand how cold this world is via the way females treat you, okay? Females are very cold by nature and you realize this as a man through how women reject men and only a man can relate to this because a female they don't go through like most of the things I speak about on this channel females they can probably get with like a good 40% of it but 60% of the things that I speak about on this channel only a man is going to be able to fully grasp the entire spectrum of what I speak about because <clears throat> first and foremost, you got to understand the differences between the biology of a man and a woman. Okay, so by nature, men and females, we just different. We see the world differently. A man that's operating in his correct way of thinking He's supposed to be left side of the brain oriented. A female is right side of the brain oriented, which deals with emotions. And man, he's supposed to be left side of the brain oriented, which deals with logic. His world is supposed to be based in logic. And not only that, but females, they got an easier track in life than men i read the comments sometimes and i and i and i see women like thumbs upping some of the videos which is fine but little do they know like if they were men they would really feel the full blunt of everything that i'd be speaking about it takes a man to understand like 60 percent of what's in these videos because the, the world of survival, it like that wilderness out there. Let me use the wilderness in nature as a metaphor. It's unforgiving. Like men, we build homes. We are the structure of society. We pave the streets. We erect the light poles. We the ones who fight the wars. We the ones who 
do the we do the hunting, we do the gathering, we do the protection of the home. We carry the full load of dealing with this cold environment. Like if we don't do it, then we die. It's it's totally unforgiving to the man. The woman she she doesn't go out and hunt. She doesn't go out and chop wood and put wood in the fire in the fireplace. She doesn't go out and fish and she's not driving the big 18 wheelers and the tractor trailers. They receive the benefit of all of the hard labor, the blood, sweat, and tears of men. So they will never understand fully how cold this world is. Because if a man breaks down and he's if he is sick and he can no longer do the physical demands which is necessary for survival. And guess what? Everybody dies. We will we will starve, you see. But that nature, it don't mind if you starve or not. You see, it, it's all about you can have me if you can catch me. So when a man is out there chasing after that deer or after that wild pig, or those fish that's swimming away from him and he has to sit by the side of the river just waiting for a fish to bite the bait so he can reel it in so he can bring fish home for the night for his family. What he's chasing after is unforgiving. It's not going to sit there and just wait for him to come and get it. If he doesn't go get it, then guess what? He's going to go hungry for the night. You see what I'm saying? And <clears throat> it's like women don't understand that. They can't really appreciate that. Yeah, they can say thank you for this and that. But you have to be a man to really appreciate male strength. See, that world out there to the man, it's a very cold world. And I think women don't understand how cold this world is. And that's why they can reject men so easily. Because females, just like something that you would hunt, they also, you have to chase them down as well. You have to basically hunt for women and they can be just as unforgiving as a deer that a man is chasing after he's spending hours having to chase and put a deer in the scope of his gun and breathe real quietly and before he fires the bullet to actually kill the deer and then you know tie it up and bring it home and chop it up and cut it up and you know Prepare the deer for his family. Women don't. They don't take notice of that. So. <clears throat> especially. I think women did. More so in. The world before. Feminism. Like. Prior to how it is today. But even more so. Today. They don't respect that. And I feel like. Females are very cold in nature, just like the nature in the wilderness. <clears throat> they can be very cold because they don't understand and they don't care about your feelings. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> they can be very cold like I have a cold now. This cold I have, it don't care about me having a cold. It don't care about my feelings. <laughs> so, females can be the same way. They don't care about your feelings. You see? They just like that cold nature. 
And that's why they can be so harsh when it comes to men. They can reject you. They got this criteria for men. <laughs> you got to be this tall. You got to make this much money. You got to be able to buy me this for Valentine's Day. You got to be able to fuck me how I like to be fucked. They got all of these criterias when it comes to men. And men are the very opposite of that when it comes to females. I mean, you'll see men who are in better shape than the woman that he's with. She can be short, stubby, fat. And you see this all the time. But you rarely see a woman, a very good looking woman with a fat out of shape man. But you see men who are better in better shape than their female you know what I'm saying? Like opening the door for the woman and and she is she she could be, you know, not even better looking than him. But it's the fact that men, we have this caring, warm heart. That's why we the ones that go out and hunt and put our lives on the line. But the woman, because she she's there with her hand out for everything. She doesn't realize what it takes to be a man. So she can reject you like it's nothing. Because she don't... A female has never been rejected how men get rejected. A female can turn you down like it's nothing. Like, for instance, I had a date with a girl, right? And I noticed whenever I set up a date with a girl... Like, say if I say, meet me at the park at 5 o'clock. What they will do, they will go to the park. No, you don't have to say, like, meet me at the park at 5 o'clock. But, okay, how, how I'm going to word this. Okay, I've I've had this happen to me before. I'll, I'll meet a female and I'll say, uh... Let's meet at the park at five o'clock, right? Now, it's not like. It's like they will they will go places without saying without calling you and verifying have you left yet. It's like they'll just show up at a place. Without even verifying with you. You see what I'm saying? And it's like the reason why they do that. Like if a girl tell me that to be somewhere at five, before I leave out, I'm going to call and make sure that she's actually left. Okay, are you on your way? But what a female will do, she will just go on out to the place. She don't call. She don't verify. And the reason why she do this, and then, and then if you are late, like for instance, a girl, she came um, to see me one time, right? And she asked me what I was doing, right? I said, um, I'm about to go shopping. She said, okay, okay, cool. So I, I went shopping and handled my business. And then she texted me and said, um, I didn't give her a definite time. I gave her a roundabout time. So she texted me and said she was waiting outside in front of my house and i'm like i said i told you i would tell you i didn't tell you to to up and leave like that you should have called i said who does that but i realized that the reason why females do that is because they're they not used to getting rejected so if they enter you and they really like you, they're going to show up on time. They're not going to verify to see if you left or anything because it's not a common thing for them to be rejected by a man. You see? So that's why they can do it so easily because they don't care about nobody but they self. They just like how this world is like this cold environment that we live in it don't care if you eat or not you see what i'm saying it's it's a very very cold world 
especially for a man, because as a man, we understand how cold this world is. We don't sit around and wait for people to do anything for us. It's, it's totally unacceptable. But it is not totally unacceptable for a female to wait around for people to serve her hand and foot. You get what I'm saying? Because it's a part of her nature to be pregnant nine months. It's, it's, it's built inside of us to understand that, that every year there is a possibility that a woman can be pregnant nine months out of 12 months in that year. So she she don't have the blunt the blunt end of responsibilities like men. So and another thing, as a female, because she is the one that has children, she is treated better because everybody recognizes that a woman is the one who carries babies. So it's like <clears throat> It's more respect for a female in this world than men because everybody has this unspoken understanding that a woman can get with any man she really wants to. Any man that a woman wants, she can have him. And because of that, every woman is seen as a potential mother. So she is treated as such. Even the law treats women differently than men. They give women a pat on the wrist if they break a law. But for a man, because every man is not seen as a potential father, he is not treated with the same respect. Because women are not, they don't have to live up to the same criteria as men. So all women are seen as mothers. Because every time you see a woman, you, you automatically can say she can get laid tonight. But with a man, it's not the same because he has to fit the bill. He has to meet all of this different criteria. You see what I'm saying? He has to make a certain amount of money. He has to have a certain amount of status. And the world is going to treat him accordingly to how much of the criteria he meets, even when it comes to looks. If a man doesn't look good and if he doesn't have money, he has two things going against him. But a female, she don't have to look. I've seen men that's in better shape than a woman than, he, than the woman that he's with. And you say to yourself like, why did he end up with this woman? Because you can be better looking than the woman that you're with as a man. But if you don't have the rest of the criteria that goes with your looks, it don't mean nothing. You see what I'm saying? Because females, they don't love how men love. Men love more unconditional than females do. And everybody understands this, that men, you have to make the starting five. If you don't make the starting five, then you seen as nothing. You see what I'm saying? Like, when the last time you heard a woman complain about a man not wanting to be with her because she didn't have a job, she didn't have a car, and she was living at home with her parents. You don't hear a woman complaining about that. That's never an issue to a woman why she can't get a man. But for a man, he knows that if he don't got a car, if he's staying at home with his parents, and if he doesn't have a job, then he's going to be ranked, ranked very, very low on the sexual market. His sexual market value will be very, very low. But a female, on the other hand, her sexual market value is not based in whether or not she has a car, a job, 
and if she has her own place. So even looking at it like that, the pressure in this world is is more on a man than a female. I'm not bitching about it. I'm just making a point because I can handle pressure. I understand reality. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I be saying to myself, like, these females just don't know. They think they think they understand what I be saying completely, but they don't. They'll never be able to understand it completely because of a war would happen right now. And let's just say we was attacked by a foreign country. They going after the men. They going to let the women live. Because the females have the babies. They see the men as a threat. This human prison bar system, it always sees the male as a threat. Because not only do you have the logic to change things, you also have the muscle strength behind that logic. You see what I mean? So you will always be seen as a threat. And as a man, you have the most valuable the most valuable possession that they are after. And that's your seed. Because your seed contains the soul that the human prison bar system needs to entrap. You have the seed. You have the sperm, man. You male jaguar. This thing is about entrapping your seed in this world. It's on you. And these women, they are used to play you. They play in between you and another man. They are used to cause fighting between men. Like sometimes I think like, how would this world be if females didn't have emotions? And then I thought about it. I said the fact that females have emotions Let's me know that they were designed to cause not just pleasure. They were they were designed not just for pleasure, but but to also cause jealousy and strife and confusion and tension in this world. Because we all know as men that you really just want a woman for sex. Let's just be honest. And that brings to mind, like somebody asked me a question about a woman tonight, a woman tonight. They said, what you think about? It's a famous comedian. They said, what you think about this woman? I said, I said, she look all right. I'll smash. Meaning I'll, I'll, I would fuck her. I mean, if given the opportunity and things was right and, and it, you know, and then they start laughing like. Like they was asking me that question for another reason. But me being a man, I'm like, you asked me about what I think about this particular woman. And when I said I was smashed, it kind of threw them in a certain way, you know. And mind you, this was a male I was speaking to as well. And see, I think like a man. So if you ask me what I think about a woman... And I'm making a point here. This, this I'm making a point about what I said. Like men, we really think about women just for sex. So if you ask me what I think about a woman, I'm going to tell you what I think about her sexually. Because I don't think about women other than sex. When I'm fantasizing about a woman, if I've seen a woman out in the streets, I got my eyes closed. I'm not thinking about her other than sex. It's related to sex. Like... Have any of you been just in your bed thinking about a woman other than sex? Let's just be real. So when he asked me that, I didn't have no... Me being a real person, I had no other way to respond to that. Like, like if I close my eyes right now and I start thinking about women who I've seen or who I find sexually attractive, I can't think about it no other way. I can't think like... I'm thinking about a girl, but I'm not thinking about her sexually, but I'm thinking about her funny. She's funny. She got a nice personality. I can't think about an ugly girl because I don't think about ugly girls. 
So if I'm thinking about a woman, I'm thinking about her sexually. And if she happens to have a nice personality, fine. But I'm not just randomly thinking about an ugly. I've never, ever in my life closed my eyes and thought about an ugly woman. So I'm saying all that to say, like, who, what, which one of you men, when you was a teenager or even now, you hung up posters of ugly women in your bedroom? I'm like, like, where they do that at? You know what I'm saying? So basically, that's what I'm saying. Like, we as men, we know we just view females for sex. So, but it's more to it than sex when it comes to them. It always have have to do with this emotional thing. Like you get with them and it's not just what you want. So you have to be something else. You have to be dishonest in order to keep a relationship with a woman. And that's another aspect to this human prison bar system, man. It's like, because the woman is here and she has emotions and she decides which man she want to be with, and it's usually just based off of some bullshit criteria. Let's just be real. Like, she might say, I want a man that can do this, a man that can do that, a man. But the man, he don't demand all of this stuff from a woman. The only thing a man wants from a woman is sex on demand and submissiveness. And that's it. And maybe loyalty if he really trying to get married or something maybe he factors that in but when it comes to a woman it's like they want you ultimately to be to be in a relationship with them because they looking at things from the long haul perspective they looking at it like having kids and i need somebody to be there like they looking at relationships in the sense of everything that supports the human prison bar system. Because ultimately a woman says, I want to do that make more money than me. Because if he makes less than me, then he can't support me and my kids. So everything about how they choose men, it's all based in like materialism and so raising kids. Like I just said, you as the male, they want your seed. So basically, and I'm not about to rush through this video. Let me take my time because if it has to be two parts, then it, it does. I'm not about to rush through this. I'm not about to rush through this. So if you're impatient, I'm not about to rush myself. I'm not about to rush through this video. So basically, females, they, they view it. They view love differently than you. They they looking at it from the sense of building societies, having children, having a man to support the kids. Because a female, she also knows that she is just created for sex and reproduction. She knows this, but she has to make it seem like it's something other than that. So you won't look at her like that. So that's why sometimes females will like cause arguments with you because if they just giving you the sex whenever on demand all the time, that's going to be too much of a reality smack to the face for them. They're going to start feeling like basically a prostitute. So that's why they have to cause arguments for nothing. They got to just cause drama. When are you going to take me out to eat? When are you not spending enough time with me? The reason why they say stuff like that, because they don't want to feel like a sex doll that's set in the closet and only pulled out of the closet when it's time for sex. But really, if they wanted the man to be honest, that's exactly what they would be. Because... When a man is thinking about a woman, he's not thinking about going out to eat on a date. You see? So this world, it makes men dishonest. And. Well, let me rephrase that. It don't make you dishonest, but if you want to be with a woman. 
you have to lie in order to sleep with a female. Now, I'm not saying all the time, but when you're dealing with women, you got to bend. You can't be 100% truthful to a woman. The only time you can really be 100% truthful with a woman is if she a prostitute. She's getting something like you pay her, let's say, a hundred dollars. <throat> let's say if you paid a prostitute a hundred dollars for for two hours of sex, it's a give. It's a given deal. You know what you're there for. She know what she's there for. She's there for the money, and you are there for the sex. But when you look at a relationship with a female, it's really the same thing. It's like. She is there for the money, but she's calling it a relationship. But you can't have a relationship with a woman if you can't offer no material things. If you can't offer no security, no protection. So however you look at it, it's prostitution. And it becomes a cold world because women are picky. And they will reject you if you don't meet the criteria. So entering into a relationship with a woman or dealing with a woman sexually is just like trying to enter into that human prison ball world. Because if you don't meet the criteria, they will reject you and be very cold hearted about it. They don't care. So when it comes to females, they the same way. They operate the exact same way. They very cold hearted and they will reject you with no qualms about it. They don't care because they just looking to survive. You see, they just looking to survive. So whatever it takes, that's what they're going to do. You see women and when it comes to survival, it's a doggy dog world. See, women, they more focused on survival. Men, we the ones focused on love. Women are focused on survival. You see what I mean? So, don't ever think a woman loves you. Don't ever think that because as soon as she reject you, you're going to find out the the real deal. Like a woman don't love you. They. They just. They just. Figments of the imagination. They don't love you. It's. It's all in. um.